Hello again everybody, I'm Wack Fujit Blit and today we're going to look at a really controversial topic the Smasher and the Annihilator Now these are two tanks that have the community either polarised they either love it or they loathe it both of the tanks and why is that? Well, if you have the Smasher and you roll out in it or you have the Annihilator and you roll out in that chances are you love it because these tanks have the ability to dominate if, however, you don't have either of these tanks and you roll out in, let's say, your little tier 6 tanky, like a Dickamax, then the chances are you hate it because, well, they are really powerful. Now, opinion is, I would say, somewhat divided. Many, however, say that both these tanks are broken and are OP. I, on the other hand, am not one of those people. I don't believe either tank is OP. But then again, it's very rare for me to say that any tank is truly OP. What I will say, however, both these tanks are extremely powerful. But, and this is the real crux of it, I have seen instances whereby both Smashers and Annihilators have been easily defeated. It's not always about the tank, it's sometimes it's about the person behind that steering wheel. Well, they're not steering wheels, are they, in tanks, they're sticks. But you know what I'm getting at. Generally, it's how the guy, or the person, or the girl, or whoever, is playing that tank. And I could put a complete uh, Urza Muppet in one of these tanks, and you would swear blind they would need to be buffed. On Alternatively, I can put, you know, really crazy, really crazily good pro players in these tanks, and yeah you'll be up in arms they need to be nerfed now the fact of the matter is this wargaming isn't going to be nerfing these tanks any time soon that's been made abundantly clear in fact wargaming are of the opinion that tanks like the smasher they don't really make much of a difference so why change it and okay i can understand where they're coming from because not many players have the Smasher. However, those who do have the Smasher, much like the ATGMs, love it because it has the ability to absolutely decimate, especially if you are top tier. If you are going up against tier six tanks, then you really do have an advantage in a Smasher. Same goes with an Annihilator. Now you've seen here, I mean, I'm top tiered here. I'm doing 2,600 odd damage. I mean, I'm not setting the world on fire in the Smasher. I mean, this is just, I, I had a better replay, but unfortunately there was a patch and I lost all my replays. But you get my point. My point is, this tank dominates. So, what are we going to do? They're not going to nerf it. They're not going to change its parameters. What does that leave us with? There you go, 2,600 odd damage. I took uh, a couple of kills. And, you know, it, it does that. Now let's look at the Annihilator. Now this tank is actually more powerful than the Smasher, in my opinion. Because this tank can actually hold its own against a Smasher. This tank can absolutely decimate Smashers. And the other thing about this, if the Smasher doesn't aim properly on this thing, well then it's going to bounce, because this has got an insanely tough turret. And, to a lesser extent, an insanely tough lower hull. And again, this thing has the ability to absolutely decimate the battlefield. Now, the Annihilator has a very long load time and there's a couple of things that I think needs to be changed. It doesn't need to be nerfed. I don't think the Smasher needs to be nerfed. What I do think, however, is the following. Firstly, the Annihilator. Get rid of the special consumables. It doesn't need them. It really does not need the special consumables and that gives it an advantage. Remove the special consumables and believe it or believe it not, it isn't as powerful. Secondly, move it up a tier. Don't nerf it, don't buff it, move it up one tier. Put this tank in tier eight. Make it so it doesn't face tier six. Same goes with the Smasher. Don't nerf it, don't change it, move it one tier up. Stick it into tier eight. That way, it's going to face tier 7s, which it can still decimate, 
and it's also going to face tier 8s and tier 9s. Now this is the thing, in tier 8 this thing can hold its own, in tier 9 it becomes a bit more tricky. I, however, strongly believe these tanks should both be up tiered to tier 8, and I think that would resolve the problem. They will, they will then be more balanced. Anyway, what do you think? I've been Fujit, that has been my take on the Smasher and the Annihilator. By all means, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about these two tanks. Tell me what you think realistically should be done, considering they're not going to be removed and they're not going to be nerfed. By the way, if you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Until the next time, guys, big shout out to my Patreons and my YouTube members and, of course, all my subscribers for supporting me. It's been a fantastic um, journey so far. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.